You can roll with me just for fun. And I heard your man been doing your own. What's going on, everyone? Whoa, it zoomed in all the way. We don't want that. Sipping on my pre-workout, as you guys see, there's a lot of things that go into a YouTube video. Um, especially if you want to edit them and make it good. It's pretty important. Um, I had a lot of fun with the one before this video, so this one is going to be released in God knows when. Um, but I'm in the process of editing this video. Hopefully it will be up in the next, next upcoming days. Can think clearly because... It's still Saturday. It's noon. It's noon o'clock. It's 12. I woke up pretty early playing video games. Ratchet and Clank. Awesome game. So anyways, a lot of work goes into editing a video. So, worked on it for a little bit. Luna was legit on my laptop. Couldn't get any work done because she wanted my attention. Sipping on my pre-workout. About to go do squats. Gonna go kill squats. Rocking my new Alpha Elite shirt. Pretty nifty. Pretty cool. Alright. Pre-workout's getting to me. I need to go lift. Let's go lift. Lifting starts. Tell me if you feel it, cause I know you do. Tell me if you need it, cause I'm here for you. I cannot believe in that you're talking true. I cannot believe in you. You know I can't. What's going on everyone? So welcome to the ending part of the video. So if you guys saw my squat was 255 for three sets of five and it's been something that I've been working on. If you've been following me long enough, you know that my squat has been a major weak point due to hip problems. I've been traveling, driving and flights and everything and my mobility definitely took a big hit from that. So one thing that I've been really consistent on is you know working on my mobility. Eric has taught me a lot of things with voodoo flossing, practicing my squats with bands and everything. I didn't incorporate it in this video. I definitely had it in my last squat video. Um, but the two things that really are the secrets to strength are practice and patience, and practice and patience overall. You have to go in with the mindset of, like an instrument, you have to practice every single day, every single week, and you can't really fall off the bandwagon, especially if you're trying to make major strength gains, you have to, to continue to practice. Another thing is being patient. Being patient with yourself and with your gains. I mean, it'll take time for you to see significant strength gain. I mean, for me, I'm seeing a majority of my strength coming from my mobility and it's practicing it and being patient with that and being consistent. So definitely the two secrets to strength in my opinion are patience and practicing. Like a fine instrument, you gotta go in and practice. You're gonna suck at the beginning. But just continue to practice your body has to be practiced over and over again and you have to be patient with that. So those are my takeaways. I'm only two months, really almost three months into my powerlifting and I'm seeing a lot of strength and a lot of increases in my mobility and you just have to be patient with it. It's not going to come overnight. 
So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at MarvinAlexis27. This is Marvin, and I'm out. I know what you say.